Hello everybody, my name is Joy and welcome back to the Dream Machine. Now, I had to look at what I had to do because I've been wandering this ship around for quite a while and apparently what I'm supposed to do is this. I need to take my scalpel. I need to cut out the number 6. And then, I need to put it back in there. Insert as number 9. Looks pretty good if you don't examine it too closely. So now we got a batch with number 9 on it, and we can pretend to be the other guy. So what I assume I need to do is I need to be an asshole. Let's see, let's be an asshole. Vector 9, what is it? Your instructions are to stand guard outside cabin 2. I want your job, I mean to kill you all. Tell the captain to cut nice cans. Captain Lilicia's tyranny must end. Sorry I bothered you, sir. I want your job. You can have it once you've been promoted to command. But I want it now. Keep dreaming. I mean to kill you all. How how? Very funny, cadet. I suggest you get back to your post before I report you to the captain. Report me, I dare you. Very well, your wish shall be granted. Victor 9, what is it? Your instructions are to stand guard. Tell the captain she's got nice cans. I'll say no such thing, and I suggest you keep the sailor talk to yourself in the future. I want to ask her to my cabin every now and I mean. That's it, I'm going to have to report this. You do that. Anything else? That's not a smart thing to say, cadet. Join my mutiny today, I'm going to have to report this. Okay, so you keep saying that you're going to report this. This bitch has a big nine on it. So can I take it back out? I'm gonna go... I, I don't know, maybe I should do some more stuff. Ah, uh, maybe not. Because he said he was going to report him alright. I think. Right? I think so. Oh, there we go. I don't even need- I thought maybe I had to go and be rude to the other guy upstairs, but... Victor 9, report for coal room duty. I repeat, Victor 9, report for coal room duty. What? What did I do? I knew this promotion was too good to be true. I didn't deserve it. Ah, boo-boo. Toodles. Oh, hold on, am I recording? Recording. Recording, yes I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Just checking, just making sure, because it would suck if I would miss some content. Oh my! Somebody really did a number in this cap, and I wonder if they found what they were looking for. They were looking for the radio because they knew exactly what they were looking for. They even managed to rip the lamp out. That reminds me of a lamp I used to have in my bachelor pad. He had something under the sink. Yes. I never would have found it if I didn't know where to look. Towel? As if it wasn't dirty enough already. Let's see, anything else? Bottle? Dandruff shampoo, shampoo I sometimes use, scrambled paper. Page from a dining menu, small container. Vit vitamin supplement for a while when I was trying to get back into shape. Used to boil water in these before I met Alicia. Shirt. Same type of shirt I sometimes wear. Yeah, it, it's, all, it's, all, it's all the same person. Mattress has been cut up and the stuffing has been ripped out. Oh my, they were looking for stuff. They were looking for this. The lockers are empty now. Alright, let's do this. Let's use the napkin with the radio. Still have to tune in manually. What does that mean? All right. So what does this mean? 250, 26, 28. This looks like some type of map, but I can't tell. I think this is my cabin. These are the stairs. 28 megahertz. 
Okay, I can actually select which way I wanted to go. Did it set 28 on the note? I have no idea. I have no idea which one. Do I have to fiddle around with all of the radios or? Let's see if I can do anything with my radio now. Because maybe I can. I'm, I'm still not sure how to figure out that map, but I guess I can figure that out. Is that an issue? I know, but do stuff with it. Ah, okay then. So... Am, am I supposed to do this in specific locations, or...? I think this would be the bar. With the sun deck, because of the... But then... This would be the hull? And what's this? Can I flip it over or something? Is there anything else on here? I don't really know what to do. I'm stuck. Sort of. Let's see. Let's ask number seven if he knows anything. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. Hi, number seven. Do you mind if I ask you some more questions? Not at all, killer. More about the radio. Is it? I noticed. Okay, no. Nope, that's no use. But he was in the... he was in the deck, so that's one thing. That is one thing. But maybe this guy knows a bit more about the... about the radio, perhaps. What do you want to know? Um... Looking for it, discovering what kind of discovery. I found the radio, now what? I wish I knew. He said it would lead to something he had hidden, but I can't see how that would work. I mean, it's just a radio. What's so special about it? He said it tempered with a receiver. If you know how to listen, it can lead you to something big. Maybe it will give it a sound signal if you have the correct one. Sometimes he found that held some kind of significance, but he never told me what it was. How does it work? He showed it to me a couple of days ago, but I didn't think much of it. It only picks up this weird signal every once in a while. What kind of signal? Odd beeps, nothing you can dance to. But can you... Still have to tune in manually. Okay, so that doesn't... Four locations. I don't know if it's going to give me a signal when I do the right thing at the right moment. But I think I need to do 28 megahertz. At least that's what the thing says. Down on the deck. At the bar. Because I thought I saw the bar on the map. Yes, right here. That sort of makes sense. So, we're here on 28. That didn't do anything. I still feel like I'm missing some information here. Well, I just tried looking up some stuff, but that wasn't really all that helpful. One, two, four, five. He said he saw it waving around on the sun deck. There we go, the radio emits, seems to emit a faint sound. Seems stronger here. Oh, okay, I'm actually... Seems to come out from over here. Pulley. What's about, what about the pulley? There seems to be something hidden behind the pulley. A small radio transmitter with a piece of paper tipped with. It seems to be a note of some kind. What is this? What is this? Some vague shapes on a piece of paper, of course. Why did I expect anything else? Why would he draw this? I think I need to find the other pieces of that. 
So... Okay. So now I don't... So now I know... So now, now I just have to figure out where... These belong. Where... Okay, so I have the one with the bar. That, that one was correct. So... I think this one is... The corridor? Let's try that. Let's try 26 on the corridor. Twenty-six. So it's like a, a metal detector type of thing. Oh, could it be in a statue? That wouldn't surprise me at all. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Thought I was onto something. The radio seems to emit a faint sound. Okay, okay. Seems stronger here. Seems to come from over here. Knob. I love how I pointed at myself and it called me a knob. This knob seems to be loose. That's not the radio transmitter with a note stuck inside the pole. That's really weird. But okay. Okay, sorry, just checked up on my recording. Similarities, but I can't figure out how they go together. Fine, that's that's perfectly fine. They, they sort of look like the symbols on the map as well. Am I missing something? Yes, you're missing two other pieces. You're not done yet. Let's see, okay, let's 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 look at this again. We are on to something. I am so proud. Um okay, we've had this one, we've had this one. Oh wait, there's only three of them. I thought there were more. I think that would be his cabin, right? I think that would be his own cabin. Because why would he be in my cabin? But then again, why would he be on the sun deck and on all those other places? Anyway, let's try cabin two first. See if we can find anything there. That would make sense to me. See, uh, how many did he say it was? 25. Alright, let's get the radio and set it to 25. This is exciting. No? Nothing? Nothing at all? Alright, then maybe it was my... Maybe it was my cabin. The music has suddenly gone very, very eerie. Or was it always like this and I just didn't notice? Faint sound? Where are you? Stronger? It's behind the bed? Oh, what was that? A plug! Really? Plug at the bottom of the bed came off. Ye There's yet another radio transmitter with a note. Judging by the frequently this, I guess this must be the last one. Okay. Some of the shapes seem to reoccur. I wonder what that means. Yes, that means that... This... Oh god, can I twist them again like the... No, I can't. Right? Oh, I can, I can, I can. Alright, but I know... This is, these two are the same, because you see the bar and you see the dot. I think these two cross somewhere. I don't know what this is. These are these two. These two dots. Oh, sorry. I, you probably can't see my mouse, but you see... Um, besides the little C shape that is the bar, you see a stripe where the dumb waiter is supposed to be and the door behind that. So I think that that's... Supposed to be like so. And if I cross these two... Is that what I'm supposed to do? 
I think if I cross these two, I will end up with a location, but I wouldn't know. Because in reality, it's, it's behind it. It's behind it. But... Can I hold this over a lamp or something? Stacking the pieces might be a good idea. If only I had a way- Yes! Oh my god! I'm feeling like such a genius right now, okay? Do I have somewhere with... Can I hold them up to the lamp? Screw to the desktop, that's great, that's great, that's great. The light isn't bright enough, okay. Oh, against the thing, here. That's why, it wasn't anything eerie, it was something practical. This ought to make things a bit easier. Yes, I know, I know, I know. God, okay. Gonna put this over here. And these over... There. The red lines seem to converge right outside cabin 2. It's the statue, isn't it? I wonder what is there. It's the statue. I already know what it is. You don't need to tell me. I knew it. There was something about that. I'll hold on to these notes. Yes, do that. Sounds like a good plan. Are we finally gonna break this thing apart? The lines on the map converge right about here. There must be something special about this statue. I better examine it carefully. Look behind it. Nothing behind. Examine the tail. I can't find anything remarkable out about the tail. Examine the body. It seems hollow. But aside from that, there's nothing remarkable about it. Well, break it. Smash it in half. Aside from it being the head of a fish, it looks pretty unremarkable. It has two eyes and a mouth, just like you'd expect. A finger in his mouth? What? A finger in the mouth? The tongue yields a little when I press it. A hidden compartment opened on the uh, underside of the statue. Okay. Something fell out of it. What is that? Personal files. Oh. Oh, these are the missing people. 67. Class B proficient at self-based entertainment, self-motivated service record recently transferred from accounting, promoted twice in the entertainment lounge, suspected of stealing when missing after being sent to Captain Neff for moral guidance lecture. Average intelligence, class B self-sufficiency, low self-esteem, bipolar tendency, stable after prescribed medication, assigned to staff garment details, served as naval tailor during the Great War, went missing while delivering new uniform to Captain Neff. Captain? What are you doing with these victors? Above average intelligence, class B self-sufficient. Served as observer during late stages of the Great War. Slated for command position, went missing after openly questioning an order from Captain Neff. Oh my. Class C doesn't mind physical labor, has a tendency to slack off if left unsupervised. Served in the victor 63 during six month probation period, was transferred to storage after an altercation with an intoxicated passenger. Received classified assignment directly from Captain Neff before going missing. She's either, pu either putting together some sort of special force, or maybe she is looking for me. That could be the case. Fiscal labor has problems retaining orders, needs everything spelled out, no self-sufficiency. Served with that incident on the vehicle deck for four years under Vector 22 when missing while making a routine delivery for Captain Neff. Might be able to lead if coached properly. Serve as, as dishwasher during a two-year period. Was coached in a prep chef role under head. Got called to the bridge after an admirable New Year service and was never seen again. So this could either mean positive things or... Come on. There you go. This could either mean something real good or something real bad. Let's see. Moderately self-sufficient. Served nights on patrol staff during Hurricane Bessie, promoted to Swift Sergeant after rescuing windswept passenger when missing on assignment from Captain Neff. Let's see. Assigned to entertainment due to moderate guitar skills and previous stage experience when missing from... These are all... This is something that I did. He played guitar. The real victor. Served seven years in the luggage department when missing after being reprimanded by Captain Neff. Demoted to a waiter assignment after getting caught stealing from the passengers' cabins. Up two occasions when missing servant drinks to Captain Neff. 
missing file and paper was sent down from Captain Neff. When missing shortly before getting a servant's commendation from Captain Neff. When missing delivering packaged goods to Captain Neff. When missing while delivering new uniform to Captain Neff. When missing after questioning an order from Captain Neff. When missing while delivering new uniform to Captain Neff. It's an awful lot of new uniforms. Is that it? Is that the last one? Okay. I guess that's all of them. Well? Oh, you got nothing to say about that? I want to talk this over with Victor 7 first. God, I'm thirsty. I need to take a break after this. My voice is going. Um. Do you mind if I ask some more questions? I know who's behind the disappearance. Victor 11 found this old personnel roster that mentions hundreds of crew members gone missing. He was probably using the roster to try to leverage some kind of deal. But things turned ugly and the captain made him disappear. The roster conclusively points out the captain as the cause of the disappearances. The crew members were carrying out her orders when they disappeared. I believe she set up a meeting on the sun deck as a trap for Victor 11. I'm sorry, man, I have to cut you off. I got a pretty low tolerance for nutty conspiracy theories, and this was the nuttiest from all of them by far. But I have solid proof right here. You probably forged a whole book just to make others believe you. You should put your skills to better use, bro. Have you ever considered writing fiction? Well, I know someone who will believe me. We got even eerier music right now. Victor 11 found this old personnel roster that mentioned hundreds of crew members gone missing. He was probably re using the roster to try a lever into kind of deal, but things turned ugly and the captain made him disappear. Captain does the same thing, carrying out his orders when they disappeared, I believe to set up a meeting. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. And people call me a nut job. I'm only trying to get to the bottom of the case. I think it would be best if we confronted the captain with what we know right away. It has gone too far as it is. Don't bring me into your delusions, man. But I've got to prove right here. But you probably forged a book to get your others on board. You should put just... Okay. They either don't want to get involved or they really don't believe me. But I guess... I guess I'll have to talk to the other guy now. Guess I don't have a whole lot of choice. I'm probably gonna get sent away. I'm probably gonna go missing. But maybe we'll find out a little bit more if that happens. Hello. Hello, Victor 3. I know who's behind the disappearance. Who? He was? Captain Neff, sir. That's a serious accusation. What evidence do you have to back it up with? Victor 11 found all personnel files that mentioned hundreds of crew members gone missing. He was probably using the files to try to leverage some kind of deal, but things turned ugly and the captain made him disappear. The roster conclusively points out the captain as the cause of the disappearances. The crew members were carrying out her orders while they disappeared. I believe she set up a meeting for the sun deck for Victor 11. Are you aware of what you are saying? Are you sure you're willing to bet your entire career on this? I'm only trying to get to the bottom of the case. I think it would be best if we confronted the captain with what we know right away. This has gone too far as it is. That's very admirable, but I'm afraid I can't join you. The evidence is circumstantial at best. What? Also, I have other engagement this evening. I think it's better if you confront the captain yourself. It's probably best if you don't mention me. I don't want to take credit for all your hard work, after all. Yeah, you're just crapping yourself right now. But go ahead, call the bridge if you really feel you want to push this issue. It's auto saving. Um, I can go on for a minute. The door is locked. Call the bridge. Bridge. Alicia? Captain Neff isn't here right now. Would you like to leave a message? I know the captain's behind the disappearances. The captain doesn't have time to listen to wild accusations. I can prove my claim. I have the personnel file she's been searching for. Well, dear boy, why didn't you say so? Come in. Let us talk about this. Oh my. 
I got a feeling the dream machine has sort of corrupted her dream, perhaps. Yep, that's no good. That is not good. That is not any sort of good. Oh my. Hi, baby. How you doing? Alicia? I finally found you. You can't believe what I had to go through in order to see you. Alicia isn't here right now. Would you like to leave a message? What? Who are you? I think you know who I am. Are you the machine in the basement? A crude description, but yes. I am part of the machine. What have you done to Alicia? Nothing, really. She's still here. She's merely been suppressed. I thought taking over her vocal faculties would make things easier. Make what easier? I swear, if you've hurt her in any way, you can rest easy, Mr. Neff. Hurting a dreamer is only a last resort. Now that I know how frail your bodies are, that was the last valuable thing Mr. Morton taught me. I want to extend the lease on life his family gave me. But I can't allow you or your dupes to stand in my way. What happened to Victor Eleven? He got what he wanted. He got promoted to command. What have you done to the other missing crew members? I could tell you. But I think it would be much more efficient to show you. Oh, lovely. Great. Can I get up? Yes, okay. Alright then. Where am I? And what is that horrible smell? What is that? This, that was something crawling over there. Alright, I'm gonna have to end this episode here, but I'm gonna continue recording this very, very... See, there's something crawling over there. Very soon. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to this game so you can play it for yourself. I've definitely recommend it. I am so into this right now. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!